Tonight on Documentify TV. Deep within the rugged, vast landscapes of southwestern Montana that was once hidden away on private land, a remarkable geological formation defies explanation. Discovered relatively recently, in 1996, it stretches over 275 feet long and stands remarkably tall in places up to 25 feet high. It's a structure of immense, cooled granite, seemingly placed with impossible precision. Locals call it the Sage Wall, and now known as the Sage Mountain Center. But is the Sage Wall merely a capricious quirk of nature, shaped over millennia by the blind forces of geology? Or could it be something far more extraordinary? This is the question we are going to try and answer in this video. From a traditional geological perspective, the Sage Wall is understood to be a massive boulder batholith, a giant subterranean blob of ancient, cooled magma that pushed its way up, but never quite broke the surface, forming millions of years ago. The wall itself is made of the same granitic rock as this batholith. Geologists propose that natural processes acting over vast stretches of time, could carve and expose features within this ancient rock mass. Imagine immense ice sheets grinding across the land during past ice ages, shaping and sculpting the terrain. Consider the powerful forces of fracturing, cracks developing in the rock as it cooled and shifted, often at predictable angles, and factor in weathering, the slow, relentless erosion that wears away softer material and even round sharp corners, refining shapes over time. These known geological forces, proponents of the natural explanation argue, can indeed produce surprisingly linear and wall-like features in granite. Specific possibilities include the exposure of tough, resistant layers of magma called sills, cliffs formed by fault lines known as fault scarps or veins of a coarse-grained rock called pegmatite, all potentially shaped and highlighted by eons of erosion. And significantly, similar vertical granite walls and jointed rock formations shaped by these very processes are found in other locations around the world, from the Rockies to as far afield as Siberia and New Zealand. Yet for some, the natural explanations fall short. They look at the sage wall and see something that appears built. This alternative perspective suggests the wall is a man-made structure, possibly created by an ancient, perhaps even advanced, civilization that existed potentially before the last ice age, well over 12,000 years ago. The core of this argument rests on the wall's striking visual characteristics. Proponents highlight the sheer size of some of the granite blocks, with the largest estimated to weigh a staggering 91 tons. They point to what they perceive as a remarkable straightness over the wall's considerable length and a seemingly precise fit between the huge blocks, forming complex polygonal shapes. Some observers note what look like deliberate courses or rows of stones, and even protrusions or nubs on some blocks, features they compare to those found at known ancient megalithic sites around the globe. Adding to the mystery, some interpret potential astronomical alignments in the wall's orientation, suggesting sophisticated knowledge was somehow encoded in its construction. A parallel drawn to ancient sites like Stonehenge or Newgrange. Other unusual features, like smooth, formed shoots found above the wall, have led to speculation about advanced technology, perhaps even related to water or energy management in the distant past. This viewpoint suggests the sage wall might not be an isolated anomaly, but part of a much larger, unknown complex 
stretching across the Montana landscape. Evidence of a capable human presence that predates recorded history. Even prominent figures known for exploring alternative historical narratives have visited the site, with some stating the structures show signs of intelligent design or suggesting links to pre-flood civilizations based on their own theoretical frameworks. Caught between these two compelling yet contrasting interpretations is the ongoing scientific investigation. The Sage Mountain Center, where the wall resides, is actively conducting thorough research. Using methods from traditional lab analysis of rock samples to ground-penetrating radar and planned LIDAR scanning, they are gathering objective, verifiable data about the wall and its surroundings. Their stated mission is to keep an open mind about all possibilities and let the evidence speak for itself. So far, their initial findings have raised more questions than they've answered, suggesting the situation is complex and not immediately shouting either natural or man-made. This dedicated, unbiased research promises to add crucial information to the global discussion surrounding the Sage Wall. As researchers continue their work and the debate continues, what specific piece of evidence, if it were ever found, would be the most convincing? That's it for tonight's video, folks. See you next time, right here on Documentify TV.